And did you set the timer? Yeah. 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 Ye
Okay, so I'm going to start by making a colour to represent, I think, the colour of the shadow on the right hand side of Rosie's skin. And actually, I'm going for the orange sienna first here. Um, so when you're going to paint, I would recommend that you find the colour that best represents what you're seeing and yeah. um, the colour that it is you're making. Um, yeah, and I'm going to put in a little bit of that, maybe a bit of soft green. So the soft green then looks like that. Mm -hmm. I want to make it just a little bit um, more, a little less colourful. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous as well. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it gets into your belly, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I just need to shake it off. <laughs> it's lucky I took on my loose top. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ate nearly a whole pack of the biscuits last night. I'm not a bit too green. So I'm sticking a bit of cadmium right in the yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's a kind of a triangle, I suppose, of, of shadow. That comes over here and down for the temple. And then I'm going to do the horizontal of the eyebrow, roughly there. And I want her to have a little bit of breathing space. She's slightly turned to the left as far as I'm, um, you know, Rosie's face is turned away from me a little bit, which is lovely. And I just wanted there to be a little bit more space on the left side. So, um, just keeping that kind of an awareness of the slight three quarter view. Um, now I think if I put a bit of ultramarine blue into that, it'll darken it down just a little bit more for where the eyebrow or where the um, eyebrow stops there and kind of the curve coming in um, for the beginning of the you know the socket of the eye, the, the bit here seems to me an important bit to establish. Because it not only describes the cavity of the socket, but it also lets us know that the bridge of the nose is brighter to the left of it and will therefore extend out into the right. And then there's a little bit of shadow underneath. You kind of want to watch yourself so getting close in, you know, so keep keep going back and forth, Brian McGuigan says. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm more into like the grace of the wonder woman or some sort of thing. Yeah, we'll see. I think I get what he means in that kind of. But he could have used a dancer instead of a box. Yeah, the horse. Teddy Taylor. Yeah, we've signed a petition for Neil to change that story. Right. So I think the other side of the soccer, too, as, as I pull it up. Yeah, the reason I was talking about that was the, the fact that like standing back means that you don't you, you get to kind of consider the full picture again um, and don't get kind of hooked into any one little bit. So what am I doing now? That's the little shadow that's kind of hugging the eyeball on the underside of the eye. Um, and with a slightly smaller brush. And I think the brown sienna again. Because I don't really want there to be a big gaping area there. Um, so that was kind of finding the shape of skin between the eyebrow and the eye, really. Um, ah. Okay, so what am I doing now? Let's see. Trying to find the channel. I guess it would be no harm to do something to explain the eye, or sorry, the side of the nose there. So with the burnt sienna, it's mostly burnt sienna that's left, and putting a bit of ultramarine blue back into that there. And I'm going to see if I can find something to describe the bottom of the nose. Vicky, be about as wide as the eyebrow down. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit longer. And slightly to the left of that shadow. Something to describe the position of the nose there. <clears throat> and there's a kind of a diagonal direction, I think, to the bottom of it. There's a cast shadow of the nose onto the skin below it that runs along a diagonal. Um, some of the stuff I'm saying might not make sense at all, but like I keep saying it, and, and we we've, we've had discussions about it as we go around. Like from your point of view, what shapes are you seeing? Um, <clears throat> okay, and now I think I'll carry on traveling down the face. And the thing is that you know that it's not set in stone. Like you can you can adjust it when it's dry as well, using the other brushes. And I've got a few of these for people to borrow if you don't have them. Um, you can excavate out the light again or shift an edge with those 
by lifting off with those brushes. Okay, so I'd say the next thing to do now is to find something to describe the shadow of the upper lip. So I put a little bit of alizarin crimson into that colour. Like I don't think really it's recommended to mix so many colours together on the palette. But at, at the moment I'm still happy with the colours that are here. It doesn't feel like, you know, some people would say only put two colours together and stop then and wash it out and, you know. But then so far so good, I think I'm okay with it. Oh yeah, I want to go back up to that eyebrow first though. So I'm putting a bit of blue into it again now. Because I want you to see when I stand back, the cavity that's there. You know. And then there's a little bit of an nostril here too, kind of a dark and right inside. And then I'm gonna come down to where the, the shadow cast by the nose kind of lands on the um the dark of the upper lip there, the line dividing the lips. And then we've got um um, I'm looking at the shape of the light between the upper lip and the diagonal of the nose there. <clears throat> I think that was not, it was only for it to be so dark there, that's it. Okay, so I'm working with the, the shadow, yeah, the upper lip. I might make it a little bit warmer again, so using a bit more of the alizarin crimson. You know the alizarin crimson is the darker of the two reds. Bit darker there. Just to identify it as being a different colour from the rest of the face. And I'm going to push and lift. Push and lift so that um we get the little fulcrum that dips in between the two things of, of lip there. And then because she's turned the three quarter view, I'd imagine this will be steeper. This side of the of Rosie's lip will be a bit steeper than the other side will be. And this one goes a bit lower. I think on this side it drops down maybe a little bit lower. And the, the light, the, the corner, the darkest bit of that will cut through the eyebrow, you know, kind of keep an eye on where whereabouts the corner of the mouth is in relation to the eyebrow. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll just put the lump of crimson in the brush there. So. Up a bit of it. Okay, and now I want to go down again. And I think I will, I will clean it off now just to be setting a good example. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm going to do something to describe the shadow beneath the lower lip. You know, I know the people on, on that side now you'd have a very different colouring altogether with Owen and a different set of, uh, it might be a different approach altogether. So I might do a very quick. Um, little demonstration over there at, at one person's easel if you're happy for that to happen and then whoever wants to watch come up. Now what I'm mixing here is some cadmium red mixed with some of the sap green. You know the sap green is up in here. Because I want to make a colour, a bit of a shadow colour that's not going to be the same as the lip colour but it's going to sit in the shadow in the cavity below the lower lip there, that little, that little dip there would maybe help to describe the, um, the form in the area. So I want to go back up and decide where the other eye socket is going to be. Um, what's I doing here then? I think the, you know, I'm, I'm trying to go with the burnt sienna and the ultramarine too, in order to do the, the, sh the colour of um, Rosie's eye sockets, the shadows that I'm seeing in there with my eyes half closed. It's quite dark. And so this, this, um, Shadow here is is helping to explain the edge of the of the light on the nose kind of and just the general um form form there. I just noticed a big lump of blue in it. My brush. But um, I think I think one of the main things I would like to pass on here is is to find a way to steady yourself when you're looking, so that you you get the information that's needed. That's key, really. And after that, then find what you think will make that shape and trust that you'll do it. And it's all right. And it's done and leave it alone. You know, so, but, it, but there's a certain kind of, it's, it's very, I think, important to steady yourself in order to um, just be attentive, be fully attentive. 
to what it is that you're that you're seeing in this moment. And it might be just the shape of the, the angle of the eyebrow there, and, and that's all you need to pass on. You don't have to look at everything all the time. And then we've got the vertical edge of the person up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to mix a little bit more paint here now, so I'll remind you. And um, for in Siena, in order to do something kind of where it just gets a bit general, marks in there. Probably a bit kamikaze to do that, maybe. I'm a bit entirely myself, but trying to be a saint or something. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put in, put that in there, and just to help to define things with a, t a slightly different mark and to let the water play a part in things too. Um, yeah. And then I keep, yeah, so I want to kind of find the, where the hair meets the, see there's hair coming down the front of the ear here, let me make away so this is, hair coming down to the front of the ear and then behind the neck it staggers back, um, here, this is a lovely pattern, if anyone wants to have some sort of success before stopping. Yeah, so like, let's see. It's not going to be easy to lift this off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Eagles are a lot of themselves. I'm thinking of this, yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it slightly, um, slightly higher. I just want to be able to lift off the board a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Something about maybe, maybe just want to kind of wash it away like a little bit there so that the. How am I going to do that? I think, um, let's see if I can knock off that corner and sit in. that runs down the side of the face there. Um, find maybe to find where the jawline would sit here. And then there's a cast shadow of the head, you know, on the um, on the neck. And then in the same way if there was this angle to the side of the nose, there'd be this shorter, steeper angle to the side of the jaw on that side. Um, and then maybe just a little Finding where the edge of that will be. And that might lift a little bit there. And then maybe the mouth could easily be a little bit higher on that side. It might be fully all the way down there. So I can just let it be still undecided, maybe by lifting it a touch. And it's a lot of with my eye cast towards the in shadow more than the other side. Mm -hmm. Try and have to sit on a little bit there now. Like, okay, I might just say something about the kind of thing of. I think like one of one of the things that 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 petrifies me, but also keeps me doing this, is staying on that edge of not knowing if it's going to work or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you kind of want to dance there. You don't want to be safe. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ha I think you you need to navigate this like. Okay, and as soon as you find yourself becoming either delighted with yourself <laughs> or, or complacent yeah. and methodical, uh, stop for God's sake. Turn mm -hmm. it upside down, do something different somewhere else, yeah. do something general and free and bring yourself back into it because it's for you you're doing it. It's not for someone else mm -hmm. or for approval or any other thing other than, I think, to feel alive and to feel like it's your expressive response to what you're seeing here in this day, in this moment, in this light, all of that. 
it's your view not what you're supposed to do or how to copy or anything like that and it's never going to be the same thing twice it'll always in every moment be different and new and fresh and isn't this why we're here like you know alive i mean <laughs> not to wind up the workshop <laughs> um, so yeah, so i'm kind of determined all those scary and sick making <laughs> i'm determined to never to rest on laurels and feel like i know what i'm doing or you know so i suppose that's the thing i'd like to pass on and i suppose maybe if i stop now and i might do a little bit more after lunch in order to try and explain how i might do an eye or something in some detail yeah. thanks very much rosie with um these brushes you know but um yeah I, I, is, is that okay yeah. to stop at that point yeah. Yeah. Yeah.